Hello and welcome back to Driftwood Public Library's Adult Science Night. I am your host, Rachel Humpert, and I am still not a scientist, but I am going to discuss the science of thermodynamics while we make ice cream today in Ziploc bags. So, let's get started. I have already measured out one cup of whole milk. Um, you can actually use whatever milk you have on hand if you use 1%, 2%, skim. Um, just be aware that the less fat in your milk, the less creamy it's gonna be, and it's gonna end up being more um, like an ice milk, I guess. Um, so more fat equals more creaminess to your ice cream. So I've measured out one cup here, as you can see one cup of whole milk. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of sugar and a little bit of salt that I've already measured out as well. That's gonna go right into that. And then we're gonna add some vanilla. You could add whatever flavors you like. You could add chocolate sauce, you could add mint, orange, just whatever. I'm gonna add two teaspoons here of vanilla extract. And I'm just gonna give that a quick little stir. Doesn't have to be perfectly incorporated. You just wanna get it stirred up a little bit. Okay. And now we are going to work on our ice. So we have a zip gallon size freezer bag of ice. Um, I filled it about halfway with ice cubes. To that I am going to add six tablespoons of rock salt or ice cream salt that you can get at most grocery stores. Um, if you don't have this you could use sea salt or probably table, table salt. Oops. Um, you just want to add enough salt so that you can lower the freezing temperature of water. Um, that's what we are doing. So I'm going to start by mixing up the ice. Now ice or water freezes at 32 degrees Celsius, no Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. Um, and when you make water impure by adding salt to it, that lowers the freezing temperature of water, which therefore makes this ice colder than 32 degrees, which is what we need to conduct our thermodynamic experiment. What we are going to do is we are going to add our milk to this quart size freezer bag. You see that? There's our milk mixture. And then I'm just going to close it up, getting out as much of the air as I can. So then the next step is to close this up and we're gonna start shaking. Okay, and now I've got this ready to go. Because of how cold this bag gets, I am going to wrap it in a towel. I suggest you do the same thing when you try and make this at home. And then we just shake. Let's just take a look, check in on our ice cream mixture. At about three minutes into our shaking, you can see that it's already starting to firm up a little bit. So. All right. 
So here we are, about five minutes into the shaking, and I think we've got ourselves some ice cream. And look, look at what is in there. That's ice cream, and we just made that. No, it's not gonna be exactly like the ice cream that you buy at the grocery store or at a delicious ice cream shop, but it is something fun that we made ourselves using science, the science of thermodynamics. All right, so here we are, our ice cream. It's all done. I'm gonna try it. I'm really good. Um, it's just basic vanilla ice cream but it sure does taste good. And we made it ourselves. And this is a really fun experiment to do with kids on a hot summer day. Let them loose outside, cause this can be really messy. Um, let them shake it around. I have also seen this experiment conducted using um, coffee cans, like oversized coffee cans. Um, you put ice in there and then you can put either the, a baggie or another smaller container, lidded container inside. Um, you just want something that holds the, the it stays really closed because um, you don't want the milk and everything to get all over your eyes. But mm, this is tasty. Um, so yeah, that is how we make ice cream, and that is how thermo thermodynamics is used in the process of making ice cream. We are transferring heat to cold, and in the process, it makes our milk mixture nice and cold. And ice creamy. Oh. That was a quick one. Thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if and share this video if you enjoyed it. I and don't forget to post your pictures of your homemade ice cream with the hashtag Driftwood Adult Science. Then you can visit our website, driftwoodlib.org, click on what's happening, scroll down to the adult science night section, and you can see all of our past experiments and um, the instructions for and science behind this experiment itself. So thanks so much for watching.